2000, just, just shout them out, y'all. Uh, I hate when you got to come on here. Let me turn some lights on and address things that are just foolishness, but that's how the internet works. All right. Are the blogs here? All the blogs that I fucking hate? You fucking fucks. All right. All right. Are we here? I'm not going to be on here long. I'm not going to let this turbulence continue to affect the weak. The mission is too great. Oh, where do we begin here? Where do we begin here? I love dogs. <laughs> oh, where do we begin here? Listen, man, Joe loves dogs. Joe is not intimate with dog. This is craziness that we have to address this stupidity today. I love dogs. Hopefully you guys do too. I love animals. I love my dogs who died. Rest in peace to Brooklyn and Harlem. They're turning in their grave right now, reading all this bullshit, right? So yesterday was podcast day. Hey, Olivia, love and light to you. I love you. Yesterday was podcast day. And it was a lot going on in podcast day. You guys said I beat women up. Again, you guys say that I fucked my dog. And it was heavy on me yesterday. Yesterday, it was heavy on me. It affected my ability to speak to the people. It was bad. But I didn't feel like it was my place to talk. Trey, what's up, kiddo? I love you. I didn't feel like it was my place to speak on any of these things yesterday. Because one, when you don't know what to do, you do nothing. One and two. Frankly, none of it was my business to speak on. So I gave it a day. I figured that was my, my right to let my beautiful, beautiful youngest son's mother addressed things how she felt they should be addressed. And you want to give her that respect. And I thank her. I want to thank Cynthia for handling that as best as she could with all types of pressure and comments. And everybody is not built to talk in front of this thing. Everybody's not built to talk in front of the camera. Everybody's not built to speak to crowds. It's okay. It's not everybody's strong suit. Oh, I wanted to use this as a teachable moment because for the people who are fortunate enough to not know how court proceedings work and lawyers and paperwork and so forth and so on, you're blessed. So let's do it. Last year... It just feels so stupid telling your business to a phone. Last year, we had a real public breakup, right? We had a very public breakup to which Cynthia, I'm sure, felt like the rug was pulled from beneath her. Uh, as a first time mom, uh, as a first time mom, going through postpartum, all of this stuff that she mentioned yesterday. It was just a tough time. And when you're young and you're going through a tough time, you tend to look for guidance from people, right? Oh. Mm. So long story less long, Cynthia looked for guidance in a friend, or so she thought was a friend. Somebody that had been around me for years and years and years and years. Uh, somebody that's been in my home, 
played with my dogs, held my baby, somebody that's just been around forever. Um, and in the middle of this breakup, this friend, we'll call it for now, this friend chose that opportunity to be opportunistic and to leverage my breakup in an attempt to manage Cynthia's music career. I'm gonna talk about this because it wasn't talked about yesterday and I think it's pretty important. So Rocky with her slimy, nasty fucking ass slithered her way into a very vulnerable, impressionable, hurt and emotional Cynthia. And she was managing her. She started her management company. She directed videos. She was up on Dykeman. She was everywhere. These two was like the two ones and 11. I didn't say a word. I didn't say a word. During that time, there were threats to take me to court for child support. And if you're unfamiliar with how that goes, when you are looking to go to court for child support, you paint the most horrible, most horrific, most nasty picture that you could possibly paint to make someone appear away in the eyes of the court. Me, I was real fucked up during this time, man. I was real hurt because of how I feel black people, black men in particular are viewed in court. And I was dealing with a young partner who maybe didn't view things that way necessarily. So there was a bunch of calls. Rocky calling me to leverage child support. Rocky calling me to figure out visitation. Rocky calling me to tell me how my son's mom feels. And the entire time I'm just saying, Ay, Jesus, Mary and Joseph, I can see this play coming from a mile away. Hey, do me a favor. You don't call my phone no more. And if y'all want to go to court, then we will prepare to go to court. Insert these nasty, nasty, horrible claims about abuse and dogs in a court paper that was scheduled for August 28th. August 28th, we were supposed to go to court. I stopped all communication with Rocky. Fuck her. I'm over it. I just distanced myself from people. I never say why. I never mention it. It's not important. Two days, maybe three days before August 28th, Cynthia and I came to a mutual understanding that we did not want to go through courts about things. And we met up with our attorneys and the attorneys figured out support and visitation and all of this other private stuff. Right. And all of the horrible things that were written in that paper were supposed to be torn up, never to see the light of day, because these are not court papers. These are not court papers. These are not court papers. These are lawyer papers. These papers never made it to court. There was no docket number on these papers. These were claims. Claims, but they didn't go to court. I was so proud of Cynthia. Super, 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 super proud of Cynthia. And later we, we found out we had a conversation and she says, you know, I noticed some things on my own about Rocky and removing myself. I'm distancing myself. That bitch is toxic, so forth and so on. And that was that. When they had their, their breakup, their public, well, they're not public falling out. And they just kind of separated from each other. Neither one of them said a thing. Sin didn't say a thing. Rocky didn't say a thing. And Rocky has spent the year attempting to bash me or drag my name. I've never slept with Rocky. I have no business dealings with Rocky. I have no idea why she's feeling what she's feeling. I think that she's sick. I think that she's bipolar. I think she has dementia. She got COVID. I'm just not for me to tell her business. I just don't think she's doing well. So we pray for her. So yesterday, when the only person who possibly had these papers and this phone call, which is Rocky, leaked this stuff. I'm not certain if somebody's paying her. I don't know who's on the squad. I don't know shit. But when she leaked these things, 
I thought it would be best for me to shut up and actually let sin speak to my character, speak to the man that I am, speak to the father I am, just speak to who I have been for mad long. And for whatever reason be, at 10 p.m., she replied and didn't address it the way I would have preferred it to be addressed. Uh, but it's cool. It's emotional. It's going through things. I get it. But bottom line, why do men have to get involved in toxic women shit? This is toxic women shit. This has nothing to do with me. They had a falling out. I can't speak to the falling out. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I didn't feel like I came away looking any better after that video. I didn't. So here I am to speak to speak for myself to the people that I've been speaking to. I'm, I'm not here to talk to the people that believe I fuck dogs. I'm not here to talk to the people that believe I abuse the very women that I have taken care of. It's just not who I am. It's not who I've been. Um, and this comes off two weeks of me exposing some truths about different corporations, Spotify, iHeart. I won't say that this is a calculated smear campaign because I don't think it's that calculated. I just think people are stupid. And if I got to come on here and tell y'all that I don't hit women and I don't fuck dogs every day, then I will. Uh, if I have to come on here and address my past uh, or my assumed past, I will. The people that know, know. And you don't get where I'm trying to go without some turbulence or without people throwing rocks. I just want me to be taken out of all of this. <laughs> That's what I would like. I would like for Joe to be taken out of whatever messy shit went on between Cynthia and Rocky. We broke up. That was the end. Why I have to address that on a phone to strangers, I don't know, but that was the end of it. Bad breakup. And I wasn't even present when we broke up. I was on tour. <laughs> yeah, so let's address that too. She said I kicked her and my kid out. I was on tour. It didn't happen. I don't want to just get on here and refute things. The blogs can do what they want with this. But it was important for me to say it because Sin didn't say it. For some reason, she called Rocky a sister. Excuse me. This girl wasn't a sister. You didn't know this girl. You didn't know this girl at all. You didn't know her intentions. You ain't been around her enough. Why we're calling this woman your sister and protecting her anonymity on a fucking live at 10 p.m.? I had smoke coming from my head last night. <laughs> I had smoke coming from my head. And it's just not going to be another day of people who don't know me and people who won't know me speaking about the man that I am and the character that I have. Do with that what you want. Hopefully I was able to clear up some of this dog fucking stuff for you guys. No, 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 this isn't to bash anybody. As I've said on my podcast a million times, everybody is doing what's best for them. I love you too, Tisha. I can't, I can't speak to what people are doing or why. I know that yesterday my son's mom was on the phone with the very lawyer that instructed her to write all of that horrible shit. And I'm like, fam, this ain't the time for lawyers and PR. This ain't the time. It's just, it's just not the time for this. This is a time for like urgency. It's a time for urgency now. It's just a time for you to get on there with your makeup not done, with your hair messed up, and say, fam, if you know Joe, Joe loves dogs, and Joe loves women. Have I had some messy breakups? Yeah. Sue me. I'm single. Y'all did it. Brandy and Snow will never want me now, and that's why I'm sad. But outside of that, 
Everything is yeah, a fucking mess. It's ghetto and goofy. It is ghetto and fucking goofy, and I want the ghetto goofies to get the fuck away from me. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Thank you for the love and support. I see y'all, man. I see y'all. 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 I appreciate it. I appreciate the love. I appreciate the support. Keep these ghetto, goofy bitches away from me, please. <laughs> Still should have let me beat that whole ass in 2016. No, it's not about that. Not about that. I'm not here for violence. Nobody should get hit. Nobody should get beat up. Listen, it's a national pandemic. Everybody is unemployment is at an all time high. Everybody ain't making what they supposed to make. Mental health is plummeting. I understand shit is fucked up out there. It ain't for the weak. Exactly, Dre. This, this ain't for the week. This ain't, this ain't for the week. Saturday, we'll be back to business. There's three episodes left. Sorry I didn't do too much talking yesterday. Of course my son is here. That's my baby. Why wouldn't my baby be here? Karen, what's up, man? So that's it. I just didn't think that this should continue with people being able to keep their anonymity when people... <laughs>